Hi, my name is uh, Richard Mdariki. I'm a visual artist, uh, mostly focusing on painting. Well, I think this is my sort of second major exhibition after the uh, Five Bob. I, it's always exciting, I think. That's the purpose of institutions like this that should highlight the work that the creatives on the continent are creating. And I'm, I feel privileged as well to be part of um, the body of work and the other artists that are coming from all over the continent being showcased here. Well, I think seeing is the most important thing because I'm an artist, I'm a visual person, so always be seeing. And I've obviously been seeing a lot in, 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 in ourselves as, as, as black people, as people on the continent, and that has been reflected in my work. So I think having a show that is dedicating to seeing what I've always been showcasing in my work is a tremendous opportunity for us to get the message of how artists are sort of like a channel of how people can be able to see the other positive sides or be it positive or social, economic, political uh, issues happening in the societies that they live in. So I think I'm very privileged and I think it is uh, an exciting exhibition that everybody should attend. Uh, it sounds like a cliche, but <laughs> I always say I've been influenced by my environment. So the places where I live, the shapes, the colors, the stories that come from there, and that is always reflected in my work. Um, and um, it, it always is obviously in different contexts that you get the inspiration. Sometimes inspiration can come from reading a book or yeah, seeing an article or a documentary on TV. So those inspirations come from different sources. So I don't even have a single one. But in terms of influence, in terms of artists, I sort of uh, admire most of the artists that practice before me. Many sort of, I call them old masters, <laughs> African old masters. So I, if I could name a few, George Pemba, Louis Mick, um, uh, Hilary Kashidi, many other artists who, in the painting that I have showing in this exhibition, uh, I have sort of borrowed from their works and presented it in the painting. I always feel that I am uh, have a huge responsibility, responsibility to continue the tradition of painting uh, that the artists that were working before me and to continue that tradition amongst the sort of changes that are happening in what painting should look like and what visual arts are sort of transforming into. But I think I have that sort of responsibility to continue working in the medium of painting and highlighting um, themes and topics uh, in a similar way that they did many years back. So initially, because I had been in an environment where it was highly political, um, so there was a tendency of obviously, as I said, my environment sort of inspires my work. So that sort of went into the work. So the themes were more social, political issues that were affecting most of the uh, communities in Zimbabwe. Um, and then when I traveled and I moved to South Africa, there was also a re, uh, sort of refocus also on the sort of politics and now looking at not in a linear way, but in a more of how politics is involved in different spaces. So there's politics in government or state politics, or there's politics in relationships, politics in business, politics in Sort of in the art world, there's also politics. So it's looking about how that interaction of two forces trying to maybe push one aside or trying to uh, present a better view of whatever the motives are. So I've sort of expanded from just the sort of social political to different other politics, so to speak. I've always said it's it's, it's a it's a challenge because. I am also a person, so I always try to reflect myself. I'm a human and I try to reflect humans on my work. Uh, and that has always not been easy. Um, but what I've sort of figured out is to use so much in terms of 
allegory or irony or symbolism in my work to represent thoughts and ideas that I want to highlight in the work alongside the figure as well. Um, as I said, because I'm a person as well, so I always want to reflect um, uh, the human figure in my work and the people that I'm observing or seeing are also humans. So I try to present them in my work, but more not in a more um, an sort of naturalistic way, but much more uh, abstracted, not, maybe abstracted is not the word, but much more um, not in its normal uh, state. Um, um, so that's sort of the way I try to, to work with to begin my work. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, a bit struggled at the back, at the last part. I wanted to find the word, <laughs> which is uh, not abstracted, but yeah, distorted. <laughs> the last part is sort of distortion of the figure, uh, of the face. So, yeah, anyway. Thank you. <laughs>